A scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Boys learn through tactile, active use of their muscular system, and sooner or later it gets into their brain. School is not developed to give boys what they need. The school message is sit down, be quiet, fold your hands very nicely, and pay attention for a long period of time unbroken. Yes, boys are a little rowdier, but you know, that's why we bring them out here during the summer. Boys love to learn. They love to be outside. They lo love to learn new skills, and it's fun. Yeah. And that's the one thing that they're not getting in any other lo location right. right now. Our educational classroom is indeed the outdoors. We sneak uh, the character building and the leadership uh, skills uh, in as they are utilizing their muscles, their hands, their backs, uh, and having fun. My wife told me, you know, I think Brigham wants to sign up for scouts. I said, okay, and your first meeting's Thursday. And I went, wait a minute, you signed him up, why am I going? And I went, and um, the more I saw, the more I saw what he was doing and the other, the other leaders, I thought, this is a really good way for me to A, spend time with him, and B, um, be able to contribute to other boys' experiences. He calls me as soon as he gets out of school and say, like, hey, remember that scout today? And so we're excited about it. I think that it's a great tool for us to spend time together. My mom raised my brother and I, and Boy Scouts was really a space for me to have a whole bunch of really positive, strong male role models in my life. They come from rich and poor, and we all seem to be one group here. You see those those streams of differences coming together and a week of experience at camping, and, and you really see something special. They're, they're, they're life changing. Many of the uh, programs in scouting are built around scouts helping each other, working together, learning how to work together, and, and needless to say in our society today, with, uh, with all the diversity and challenges that we have, um, those are important skills. We're able to cut across all socioeconomic uh, barriers. We're, we're able to attract kids from all walks of life, regardless of what their personal situation is. And scouting can become the great equalizer. A lot of people just think Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts is just camping. Well, there's a lot more to it than that. I think it teaches them good values and how to work together. It takes the natural talent of the child and makes it blossom. You know, the main thing with scouts and stuff is to be able to, to break down those barriers where a child can still feel comfortable about coming and asking you questions that maybe they would have been a little more apprehensive. I learned early on that the more involved I got as a parent, the better my kids did. It's minimal commitment. We host our monthly meeting. Each family is assigned a meeting to host. It's definitely something manageable and it's something that brings the parents closer with the kids and the kids closer with the parents. With young women being involved in venturing, uh, I would say only one, one thing. It's about time. The young women can gain the same things from this program that the young men can. Um, it's the same set of values, it's the same kind of leadership-based, um, exciting program for them to be a part of. When I turned 14, I was able to join the Venturing Program. It's the only co-ed program within scouting from 14 through the ages of 14 to 21. The young adults form crews, they pick out their passion, it may be sailing, it might be rock climbing. It's a lot more about a strong person, a strong group, and going out and becoming who you want to be while you're out here. And they pretty much plan their agenda and run with the agenda, and it's, uh, it's a great growing experience for, for the young men and young women. The cool thing about scouting is it provides a framework, but it doesn't write your own story for you. The great message to parents is that scouting can be a partner in helping to raise your children, particularly when it talks, when we talk about those value systems that we share with parents. The mission is to reach kids from all neighborhoods, no matter what socioeconomic background they come from. Scouting's mission is to reach all youth, regardless of the circumstance.
Exploring is a career awareness program. It allows students that are 14 to 20 to evaluate a career. Exploring is more, uh, is this what I want to do in life or is it not? We teach teamwork. Um, and I think that's essential and nowadays, you know, for any, any success. We have programs, we like to say from A to Z, starting with accounting and going all the way to zoology. What the Boy Scouts provide are those resources to take the best practices of the best and most successful programs across the Denver metro area or even nationally and help business create a, a great program. Ended up being a lot more fun and a lot more hard work and gave me a better look at what the fire department really does have to be given the opportunity to, to try it and do it before you can know if you're, if you're a leader and succeed at that. Right now I'm actually in college. I'm trying to complete my paramedicine degree. I am an EMT. I graduated EMT school about two months ago. So I am starting to start my life out, which is good, and this program has helped me so much. From the businesses and from the, the students, it's kind of you know ensuring that we're all working together to make sure that, that people are are going to be doing the jobs that we, we're going to need in the future. It's just a huge payoffs. I mean, if it wasn't for me exploring with the Thornton Police Department, I wouldn't be standing here before you today. The adults don't decide what our program is. The scouts decide. As the boys learn more skills, the idea is, is that they'll bring other young men up with them. Leadership is a, uh, an experience. It's, it's, uh, you get to make mistakes, and this is the place where we give them the opportunity to make mistakes without crashing and burning. It's important for me to see my son exposed to good role models, um, boys that are in leadership positions that he can aspire to. Some parents may not have the time. They may just be so busy providing for the basic needs of their family, they don't have the time. I think it's really important for parents to understand that they don't have to go this route alone. There are people in our community involved in the scouting program who want to help them. We teach them how to have an impact on the lives of others and how to make this whole world a better place. They're surrounded by mentors, and those people are of the right quality to help my sons grow. He was flipping through his book on the way up here. Oh, this is going to be cool. He's, he found the first aid chapter. He found the swimming chapter, the citizenship chapter. And I was like, yeah, you get to do all of that and you don't get that in school. These aren't the clothes I choose to wear. Uh, you know, bright red or the, the khaki shirt and green pants. The reason I do it and I accept it is we're making a difference in the world. We can teach you how to do this. It's not very complicated. If you're willing to go through our, our modest education programs, we can teach you how to be a scout leader. What a wonderful impact you could leave on this community by being a leader of young men through the scouting program. Got to make time have to make time for each other. They're only this age for a small amount of time. Yeah.